Hello everyone and welcome back to the Oxford Vapors YouTube channel. I'm Taylor and today we have something a little bit different for you. I'm going to be going through my top five mods of 2022. So let's get into it. In at number five, we have the only internal device on this list. It is the eLeaf iPower 2. Now this came out maybe late last year, but the majority of my usage has been this year. If you watch these videos a lot, you'll know that this is one of my dailies. I love the convenience of an internal big battery device. I think it's brilliant. It lasts me three, four days on a low power. I only run about 20 watts, so it lasts me forever. Brilliant little device. I think it looks great. It's not overly expensive, but it's not cheap either. Obviously, 80 watt max, so that is lower than a lot of well, it's the lowest by far on this list and that can become a problem if you want to run the higher powered you know smock tanks anything like that but it, it made massive improvements over the original ipower which was incredibly popular at the time uh, they moved the charging port stuff like that it was an improvement it was brilliant i still use mine from time to time and yeah fantastic device that's number five in at number four we have the aspire rear which was something really different from Aspire. We hadn't really seen them venture into the hard wearing, you know, sturdy mods before. They were well, they were known for making really well made, really fantastic mods. The one that springs to mind is the Archon. I've still got one, fantastic device. They were sort of following in the footsteps of Geekvape with the Aegis, um, which we'll come back to. I've got to say it worked really well. I did a review on the rear on the channel, and after that, uh, a colleague of mine called Jack, who you may have seen in some videos and on our socials if you follow them, he took it and he's still using it. And that was early in the year. Um, he loves it and he is the clumsiest person alive and it's still going strong. Brilliant device. Can't speak highly enough of it. This was a dual battery device, 200 watt max, and featured on two of the three colours we stopped, a nice Alcantara finish, which if you don't know is basically fake suede. But it felt lovely, looked great. Uh, a little bit bulky maybe is the only downside. It, they went for the triangular shape, but still a fantastic device. Really easy to use. That's number four. Now, number three is a brand new device. In fact, we've only stocked it. At the time of filming, we've only stocked it for three days. I did a review on it. It is the Gen 200. It took over from a very, very popular device in the Gen and the Gen S, which was a, a hard act to follow, really. It was, it was innovative in the fact that it offered a pulse feature, which, if you don't know, fires the device every 0.2 of a second to maintain a more consistent flavour and output from your device. It's a brilliant feature and they carried it over onto the new one, which is great. The only thing they did change that was a bit more significant was the, the screen and button arrangement. They moved the screen from the short panel to the long panel on the side. It's a little bit of a weird setup, but works fine, M mainly if you're right-handed, because obviously that's where your thumb will sit. But Either way, it's still a brilliant device, really nice to use, great interface, nice colour screen, everything like that. 220 watt max, so the highest so far. Not that you really need that much, but it's there if you do. In at number two, I mentioned the name earlier, it is the Geekvape Aegis 2. So the replacement for the original Aegis Legend. And I have one over my shoulder just there. Again, reviewed it on the channel. Really, really like it. I like the whole premise of the Aegis in terms of the hard wearing, you know, more sturdy type of vape. It's it's brilliant, especially for people. We we find that it's either people who know a lot about vaping that buy them, or people say in the trades or something where there is a little bit more danger to your vape if you drop it. And this has been really a godsend for people who are either really clumsy or just want that peace of mind of a more sturdy vape. 200 watt max again, and they made some really, really good improvements over the original Aegis Legend, which if you remember had the big rubber shoulders on it and everything, it was a really bulky, big device. And they reduced the size quite considerably by taking all of that exposed rubber off. But they've actually made it a higher rating in terms of the dust drop and water resistance. So they've made it smaller and sturdier, and then they released some really funky colours. Number one. Number one is the Target 200 from Vaporesso. A little bit of a curveball. I wasn't really expecting to love it as much as I did. It's for a lot of the same reasons as the Gen 200 is on this list. You'll notice that there's only one company where there's two on this list, and it's Vaporesso. And that pulse feature really wins me over. I mean, even while filming, I'm using Vaporesso. It's 
<clears throat> it's brilliant. They're really, really nice, easy to use. The target looks absolutely fantastic. They have some colour options, but they're quite subtle. It's, I mean, I'll put them on screen so you can see, but the, the colour changes are there, but they're very subtle. Um, I think it looks fantastic. It feels great. It's a lot smaller than most dual battery devices, which can be a plus. I think it's a plus. It also feels nice and sturdy. It has exposed zinc alloy sort of skeleton that it builds around. It's brilliant. Uh, really nice hard wearing. I think it's better looking than the Gen, which is really why it's so much higher up. The Gen is okay. I just I don't like the feel of it as much as I do the the Target. It feels the Target feels so much more quality. It's brilliant. And there you go. That is my top five mods of this year so far. My opinions may change, so I may do a follow up at some point. But for now, please feel free to leave the like, comment and subscribe to our channel. And with that said, I've been Taylor, this is Oxford Vapors, and we'll see you very soon.